How dare you, madam? How dare you shame us? How dare you shame us in our own pride festival, madam? You can tell I'm angry. We should be able to talk about it. Why are you angry about me saying, look, I'm a Christian? When you put someone mimicking Jesus on a cross and pole dance him, that's offensive to me. That is deeply offensive. Well, after all the hubbub and Jesus on a cross strip pole dancing, that's right, that's a thing, from these goofballs being honored over at Dodger Stadium the other night, let's go see how the attendance turned out to be for said ceremony, a ceremony so controversial that originally the Dodgers said, no, 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 no. No, we didn't know that you guys were upsetting conservatives and Christians and you guys were, again, pole dancing on Jesus Christ. So the Dodgers rescinded the invitation to these two goofballs. And then, of course, all of these angry feminist liberal straight chicks, by the way, unfuckable straight chicks shaped like Jabba the fucking Hutt, started screaming on behalf of the LGBTQ group, got them re-invited. The Dodgers Stadium then said, wow, we won't have enough room for all of the mega supporters for these degenerates over here. Maybe we should open up some standing room. Oh, wait, no, nobody showed up to this. Zero people, negative people. Always a good business strategy. Go out there and piss off your core audience so you could fill the stands up with nobody. No, look at this. <laughs> look at this. There are zero people here. You invited these idiots, you disinvited them, you reinvited them back. Why did you reinvite them back? Well, because of the massive surge of popularity and fifis generated again by the left hand side who don't show up to anything, you fucking morons. Who owns this brand over here? Who owns the Dodgers franchise? They're stupid. Stupid idiots. Now, the left hand side is saying, well, that's an hour before. The actual game started. That's the same shit you guys pull at Donald Trump rallies, by the way. You show up eight hours before a Donald Trump rally and then point out how nobody's there, even though there are still more people there. There are more people eight hours before a Trump rally waiting for a bathroom than Joe Biden can generate. But that shouldn't have anything to do with anything. What I imagine all of... It's pride. It's pride, everybody. I imagine all of those people... Shouldn't, it shouldn't matter. They're not there for the baseball game. They're there to support the... What are, the, what are these idiots called again? <laughs> the stupid fucking act over here. The Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. They're big on TikTok. Why didn't you show up for this? Whether it's an hour before the game, three hours before the game, none of you lefties like sports in the first place. You ain't going to watch the fucking game. But you didn't show up for this. You didn't buy a ticket and show up for this. There's nobody in the fucking stands over here. All of these people are on their fucking phones. <laughs> the 12 people who are here are on their phones. They're not even paying attention to what the fuck is going on down there. And of course, they're all upset, by the way. One of the members of the anti-Catholic drag group, Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, seen here screaming at Christian reporter who said that she found their mockery offensive. I'm the victim. I'm the victim. You're pole dancing on Jesus Christ and you're surprised that people are upset about it. You don't mock any other religions. You ain't mocking the Jews. You ain't mocking the Hindus. I know you really ain't mocking the Muslims. But it's fair game and open season on Christians. And so you do that to them. Nobody likes it. There were more Muslims and Christians outside of this event protesting these numb nuts over here than the people inside the stadium during the honoring right here wrap your head around that the game did fill up of course here's uh, elijah schaefer pointing out hey man fuck it looks like a lot of people showed up to the game yeah none of these people even know what the hell's going on though all of these normies right here they have no idea that a bunch of weirdos were honored before the game they don't understand they don't care about any of this it's a San Francisco versus Los Angeles game. It's fucking packed. I mean, these are these are uh, adversary, adversary, anniversary anniversaries. These are adversarial baseball teams, boys. And so, even though they're they're trying to tell everybody that forty nine thousand, the the capacity of the stadium, something like fifty six, fifty two thousand, they told everybody that they were at forty nine thousand. 
I can't see what inning it is, but I mean, the game is on, and this is not 49,000. I look at all of these empty seats. All this yellow right here are empty seats. This is all, these are all empty seats. I, the, the game is going on. It could be, I don't know, middle of the, the first inning. Who knows? But there ain't no way there's 49,000 people here. So a bunch of people did show up to the game. Not surprised about that. I don't really care about that. Uh, normies don't... These A lot of these dumb idiots probably but Bud Light. They're, they're not engaged in politics. They just want to watch sports ball. They just want to be sedated by sports ball. That's what's important right there. This group that is being honored on the field, invited, disinvited, a bunch of astroturfing, gaslighting, and very vocal minority people taking advantage of old legacy algorithms boosting their nonsense, screamed and yelled and flipped out, screamed in rainbow. They got these idiots re-invited, and then they didn't even bother to show up, of course. These are internet activists. They just spend all of their time on Reddit and TikTok, masturbating, dilating, and screaming. They never show up to anything. Stop bending in the direction of this vocal group of people who don't go out there and reinforce their ideas by actually spending money. And you're pissing off people who do spend money. There ain't no fucking way that that is a full crowd. Despite the fact that you tell me that's a full crowd. Not buying it. Safest, most efficacious crowd of all times, boys. Super duper safe and effective vibes. But there you have it. Again, the crowd protesting the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence much louder outside the stadium than the four people inside here celebrating them. That's weird how that works. It's almost like we're being astroturf and gaslit in a gigantic psychological operation to get us to buy into bullshit. Hey right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Support you. And if you want to be kept up to date on all the lies, hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.